This is going to be a demonstration of the IntelliGuard unit uh, using pepper spray or to be specific a Strom foam product. Just some of the uh, items for safety that's going to be involved here. Gas mask unit, face shield, gloves, goggles, the formula in concentrated form will show how the product is to be mixed and then we'll show a demonstration of the actual use. The IntelliGuard unit safety shield in place and protective gloves we're going to demonstrate the loading of the material into the IntelliGuard unit first we're going to add approximately three gallons of water to the tank using the funnel one of the purposes of the funnel is so the uh, when we're putting in the concentrate of the pepper it doesn't foam excessively uh, while we're putting it into the tank itself okay the three gallons of water has gone in the next procedure will be to add the pepper foam or strome product That's one gallon. and the second gallon. We're going to screw the cap on, make sure it's secure. And we'll lift the unit to the table. We attached the hose and now we're going to just shake the unit a little bit in order to mix the concentrated solution within the confines of the tank. All right. Okay, we're going to we're going to use some protective gear here. Uh, basically just a rain uh, type garb that we're gonna put on just to protect arms clothing and so on and so forth against any of the residual effects of the pepper spray
Okay, we've put on some per, uh, protective gear and we're going to load the backpack unit and the IntelliGuard unit. The Strom product that we're using in this test today basically uh, is a foam product that is a non-contaminant uh, to the surrounding areas. It only affects the target uh, that it actually hits. Uh, we're going to walk over to a little different area and uh, turn the unit on and perform the first Firing. Okay, we'll show uh, the unit firing. Go ahead. One more time. It appears that the unit is uh, firing approximately about 40 or 45 feet. Uh, we'll try a fan effect with the existing nozzle and see what that does. Okay, now we'll walk down and uh, actually shoot onto a target. We'll use the side of that container down there and see what kind of a pattern or uh, or what it looks like. Okay, now we'll fire it at the side of the building and uh, at fairly close range, approximately 12, 15 feet and take a look and see what it looks like when it hits the target. Coverage is pretty good. You can see the discolored area where it actually hit the unit. Uh, that area is probably about 9 to 10 feet. Uh, it covers the area pretty quick. Now we've uh, switched to the fan nozzle. Uh, We'll fire that one for effect and see what it looks like. Seems like it's covering a fairly large area. Uh, we'll try a little more of an up angle and see what kind of a distance we're getting out of it. About a 45 degree up angle. Looks like it's pretty effective at, at uh, probably about 30, 35 feet. All right, we'll go up against the building again and fire a couple of rounds at uh, close range and show the actual residual effect uh, of the product against the building itself. Okay, now we're at uh, probably 8 feet from the wall and we're just going to do a pattern against the wall to see what it uh, what it looks like pretty large area Okay, we're going to fire a pretty close range here in a central area or a central target on the, on the side of the container.
All right, one more test at a little farther range, uh, and this is back with the uh, uh, the central nozzle, not the uh, uh, fan nozzle. With the Strom product, it's supposed to hit the target and then dissipate into a liquid. Uh, that's more or less what the product is actually doing. Uh, that's to prevent uh, someone from scooping it off or taking off their clothing and throwing it back at an officer or somebody else that uh, happens to be close. Okay, we're going to fire the unit. Uh, I don't know quite how much is left in the tank, but we're going to fire the unit until it actually empties the unit just to show the maximum coverage, the maximum area, and the total amount of product that can actually be delivered. Go ahead. Move it around, Lalo. Move it around. And, and that's it.